It's my great pleasure and honor to welcome you all on, on behalf of our university to this third FinSino Educational Forum. I have a few uh, small notes to make before we start our scientific discussions. And the, post, the, the notes that I have entitled are history past, and, history, past, present and future. Let me start with history. If we think about Finnish society for 100, for 100 years ago, our country was a part of European periphery in many respects, in, in almost in all other respects except that we had uh, voting right and full political rights for women as a first country in Europe already from the, from, from the year 1907. But otherwise, Finland was part of European periphery, living out of agriculture and some forest industries, mainly timber. If we think about Finnish society for 50 years ago, Finland was part of European semi-periphery. We were uh, in the middle of quite rapid social and economic change. The role of agriculture was rapidly declining, and we were witnessing the growth of manufacturing industries. In, economic, in economics, Finland was heavily dependent dependent on pulp and paper and pulp industries. But what we had was quite low level of, of investments into uh, research and development. Then past. Uh, during late 60s and early 70s, there was a change in Finnish politics. All uh, political parties were very heavily committed to develop the knowledge infrastructure of Finnish society. Modernization of the Finnish society was very prominent social process. In spite we were just talking about catching up the other Nordic countries. But in fact it was a very deep modernization process. And what we witnessed or what we saw during, la during the uh, end of 60s and early 70s, we saw heavy investments on basic education. We had very substantial school reform. We saw very heavy investments on higher education. There were several new universities established around the country. We all also saw heavy investments on research and development. There were new governmental research institutions, new governmental funding agencies. And then we come to present. And during past 30 years, Finland has rapidly moved from semi-peripherical position in, to one of most developed countries in the world. Finland is one of the most innovative economics in the world, and Finland is also one of the education superpowers in the world. We have witnessed pretty rapid economic growth, and also growing growth of living standards of the whole population. And I think that all this is due to those investments that were made into education, higher education, research, about 40 years ago, about 40, 50 years ago. Then about future. Today we live in a global community we all are dependent on each others. And during the past 20 years or so, China has witnessed very similar kind of 
changes than Finland had uh, about 50 years ago. China has invested heavily on education, on science, on research. And today Chinese society is one of the real superpowers in the world. It is an economic superpower, it is also educational superpower. It's very difficult to compare Finland and China. Finland is like a small village in China, and China is the most, what comes to population, the most biggest society, biggest country in the world. Finnish economics is very tiny compared to China, but still we are dependent on each other in many ways, and there is growing dependencies between different countries. And from Finnish perspective, cooperation with China and with Chinese, different Chinese institutions is very important. Especially the cooperation within the science and higher education is of growing importance. And what we need is we need more exchange between universities. We need more joint research and we need more educational projects for mutual benefits. University of Tampere is happy to participate this projects, this, uh, this process and this cooperation. And we have long uh, history of doing cooperation with Chinese uh, partners. And a good example of this cooperation is a new book that has recently been published uh, by our university press. It's edited by Professor uh, Yu Chaiyan. Vuokko Kohtamäki, and it's a, on transformation of higher education in, in innovation systems in China and Finland. A very good collection of articles by Finnish and Chinese experts uh, analyzing the role, changing role of, of universities and higher education in contemporary world. Today we are gathered for this uh, education forum, and this education forum is a very good opportunity to discuss and exchange ideas on these matters that I have taken up. With these words, I warmly will come, welcome you all. So welcome. Thank you.